Hey guys, so today's unboxing and review video is for FX's um, Pink Tape album. So this CD consists of 12 tracks and uh, the packaging I really like for this album because it has like this um, slip case on it which makes the album look like a old like VHS video cassette which is really cool and obviously it's bright pink. Um, and then you obviously you get this like like sort of like giant OB strip type thing. Um, obviously it says FX O2 Pink Tape. So this is obviously their second full album. And it says Luna Amber, Victoria Sully Crystal. And um, I'm just going to read like the back because there's some like weird stuff on here. It says it has a strong aromatic herbal scent slightly reminiscent of lavender or jasmine for me. Love exists when it simultaneously defeats no, sorry defects from eternity the moment we first come across love ecstasy drives us into serious psychological illusions madness emptiness delusion and panic the moment we deceive the nature of our rationality and sense we are led to eternity i could never find the answer my eyes closed and then down here it says affects the second album Victoria Sully Crystal Amber Luna and it says that's manifestly true and can occur almost unconsciously I cannot explain what is ha what is happening to me it reminds people of things that are sweet and fresh I felt all I felt a sudden tingle of excitement so this is kind of like supposed to be like um the back of what you would get on like a um when, like you know when the old the old CD cassettes the VHS cassettes um, it says obviously language options, Korean, subtitle options, Korean, English ca uh, English captions. And it says descriptive subtitles for the interpretation. So yeah, it's, I think that's kind of quite cool. Um, and sometimes like I don't, at the moment this is kind of outside because it doesn't quite like fit inside but I'll figure out something to do with that. Um, but back to the actual album itself, uh, it says SM Entertainment VHS Video Cassette, Romance, Cult, FX, O2, Pink Tape, Luna, Amber, Crystal, Sully and Victoria. So that's really cool, so that's what your front looks like. And then on the back it looks like, you know, the old VHSs. And you have your track listing down here and it says Pink Tape, Original Soundtrack. Track 1 is Rum Pum Pum Pum, Rum Pum Pum Pum. Track two is Shadow, track three is Pretty Girl, track four is Kick, track five is Signal, track six is Step, track seven is um, Goodbye Summer, which is Amber, Luna and Crystal fe featuring D.O. of XOK, uh, Aeroplane, Toy, No More, Snapshot and Ending Page. So that's what the uh, back looks like, so let's take a look at the inside. So this is basically your slip cover. And then when you take that off, you have your inside and this is your booklet. And then you have your CD. And obviously that's what the inside of a VHS kind of looks like. And it just says FX02 pink tape. And that's um, the kind of like the pink bit here is like foamy. And then obviously you have your booklet. So the front is kind of like glossy. And then falling out, we have our paper advertisement. And then it says FX02 Pink Tape, and obviously a picture of the band. This is quite like um, a long booklet. So, um, obviously, I have a picture of Luna there. And this has got like a mix of like, um, like black and white pictures and like color pictures. And I loved, I actually loved when the teaser for this album came out, uh, the teaser pictures for it. So obviously they've got Sully and also a picture of the band and it tells you like um like about the art film that they did and the, like, this is all kind of like credit information and like the visuals and stuff and then obviously at the bottom you have like all these um all these like little caption things so obviously I have a picture of Crystal and Victoria here and it says look that's manifestly true and can can occur almost unconsciously and it says at times it was intricate but more often it was simple 
and these are the pages in this are quite thick they're kind of like card like feeling and they're kind of slightly um they've got like a satiny glossy kind of um if you can kind of see that finish to it and then it says do you know who made this and it said it got me mixed up and then it was like it's it's clear as mud and it says that's when you can't control where your heart goes and then I'm a little girl I cannot explain what is happening to me and then I was playing hard to get I think I know human psychology but really I don't these pictures are absolutely gorgeous um, it has left me with mixed emotions I kind of like that whole like there's like um like a school girly kind of theme but it's but it's like school girly but not in like a sexy school girly way um and then it says yes it was a moment i'll never forget and then obviously you've got the band there with um kai from xok which is nice because he's actually my second favorite well my joint bias in xok and it says it reminds people of things that are sweet and fresh and says, well, maybe you were, maybe you weren't. One moment he was there, the next he... Uh, the One moment he wasn't there, the next he was. And how am I to know that? I was ambivalent. I guess only time will tell. She locked the secret in her heart. Thanks for reminding me. And then it's pink tape, and then it says original soundtrack, and it says like, and so obviously um, each track it has like scene, so it says scene one, rum pum pum, scene two, shadow, etc. And then you have the synopsis, um, which um, is the lyrics here for, let me read, rum pum pum. It says scene two, shadow, synopsis. And then the lyrics up there, and these are in Korean, obviously. Scene three, pretty girl. And where it says synopsis is basically, like, the lyrics. And then you've got, obviously, kick. The lyrics for signal. And then the lyrics for step. Uh, Goodbye Summer, which is Amber Luna Crystal featuring Dio from XOK. Aeroplane. Toy. No More. Snapshot uh, ending page, and then you have um, it says cast and it says girl one crystal. So I'm guessing this is the thanks to section, and then it says um, girl two Amber, and Amber's um, thank yous are written in English. And then girl three is Luna, and all the rest of these are in Korean. Uh, girl 4 is Sully, Girl 5, Victoria, so this is the end, and we'll see this um, disco ball. And then that's pretty much your booklet. So like I said at the beginning of the video, um, this does come with photo cards, and I pulled Crystal from my album, but I do have the, um, the full set of the pink tape photo cards, so I'll just show you all of them. So uh, the first up is Amber, and this is what hers looks like, and then the back, and they just got like these like little cool pixelated um, cartoon pictures of them, which is kind of cute. And then there's Victoria in the back, Sally in the back, Crystal in the back, Luna. And the back of hers and the group card Oops. and the back of that so um, that is basically what the photo cards look like so as for a review um, this is the second full album from FX and you can definitely see um, from their first album how much they've kind of like grown since then um, if I had to pick some favourite tracks from Pink Tape, I would definitely say um, Rum Pum Pum, Pretty Girl, Kick, 
step toy and ending page um, which actually most of them are quite um, most of them are quite like upbeat um, which you know I think that's the thing about FX they're kind of like very good at doing their like very upbeat songs um, ending page is kind of like more one of the uh, slower tracks on the album but that I mean but that's like that's probably one of my favorite slower tracks on the album um, but what I actually love most about the um, this like album in general was actually like the whole concept it was very sort of artsy um, and I know that when the teaser pictures and the teaser video um, came out and it was it was all very sort of um, like I say it was very artsy and it was very kind of I don't know it was just it really interested me and I and it was kind of like an interesting concept because like I when I saw the teaser video I assumed like that the whole album would be sort of very um, like very art like very artsy in in that sort of sense um, but I think though that is where it kind of ended it was kind of just like that and the pictures in the actual um, like the photo book that were kind of very artsy whereas I think obviously you know from Rum Pum Pum the video for that was very like very bright and very sort of um, completely different to what the um, what the teaser image was kind of like so you had kind of like two different kind of concepts you had like the very the very artsy kind of concept and you have the very bright concept which I think FX are absolutely like great at doing I, I absolutely love their their fun and their bright concepts um, and so it was kind of like interesting to see them in like sort of a different light with the sort of like the dark and like the mysterious sort of um, concept which actually I think they did pre they they pulled off really well as well um, and it was quite interesting to see that actually um, a, a British singer had some sort of like involvement with the writing um, the song Shadow is written if you didn't know it was written or co-written by um, a British singer called Sophie Ellis Bexter who um, you know she's quite well known in, in England and like her when I think of when you say to me like Sophie Ellis Bexter like I to me I think of very sort of like very poppy and very sort of like disco-y kind of um I don't know it's like she has like a weird like it's like vintagey but it's kind of like disco-y at the same time kind of sound um you know if I, if someone said to me Sophie Ellis Bexter the first thing that would pop into my head would probably be like murder on the dance floor which is very like disco-y and very like poppy sounding whereas like shadow is completely different it's not it's not like massively poppy it's kind of like got that kind of like weird mysterious sound to it um but you know but she is like a re she is a good songwriter so i'm glad that like they that sm were were getting artists um from like or, or choosing songs that were from artists that were kind of like outside of the um of the label um because i think you know when you keep using the same songwriters all the time I think it can kind of songs can sound very samey um but I think there's like a good mix like like I say most of the songs I like on here you know like Pretty Girl and Kick and Step and Toy are all very sort of like catchy and very upbeat songs um which is what I primarily like about FX I like their sort of you know they have like an infectious funness to them um but yeah, I, I actually have to say I am really impressed with this album. Um, so as always, I have a review on my blog. A link to that will be down in the description box. And as always, I hope this is informative. And thanks again for watching.